to solve the scientific notation problem, we need to express each one of them into proper scientific notation. Let's take the easiest one here first. You have a four, zero, zero, uh, I have three zeros. Okay. So this one is, if you take the point here, it's equal to something with a dot times 10 to the box. Okay, so let's uh, set it up first. So here's your decimal one, two, three. So it's 4.0 times 10 to the third. Now notice this number was pretty large, a big number. I made it into a small number. Okay, from a big number to small number, so this one's going to be a positive. Okay, let's go on to the next one. If I have 16,000, that's equal to, let's put the box back in here, with decimal times 10 to the box. At the beginning, it's easier if you draw the boxes all out. So you have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 places 1.6. Okay. Let's go on. 0 0.00032. Okay, I'm going to make this one into a 3.2. Okay. And then since I started with a small number, so here I should have a negative. Okay, so exponents should be negative here. So I have a 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it's negative 4. And one more to go, 0 0.00002. So that's going to equal to 2.0 times 10 to the, it should be a negative, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So negative 5. All right, now we have everything set it up. So let's go back here. Then our original equation is going to become. I have a 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, that's the scientific notation. And then it's 10 to the minus 5. That was what I had it before. Okay, that's the first number. Second number, I have 4 times 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 7. That's the original number. The 7 is the original number. Okay, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the fifth. That's one number, and then times 2.0 times 10 to the minus 5. Now let's combine this one. So we have 3.2 times 4, and then 1.6 times 2.0. Okay, that's all the numbers. Okay. And then I have 10 to the minus 4 plus minus 5. That's on the top. Okay. And then plus 10 to the 7th. So if it's multiplying, I'm going to just add. Okay, on the bottom one, 10 to the 5 plus minus 5. So this is minus 5 here. Okay. And then a couple more steps, and then we'll be done. Obviously, this one cancels out. So I have a 4.0 times 10 to the, on top, I have a minus 2. Okay, on the bottom, I have 10 to the 0, which is really just 1. Okay, so the final answer, one more step, I have equal to 4.0 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, that's the answer. Hope it helps. Have a confident day.